Hi, my name is Mike Canales. I'm the Healthcare Facilities Leadership Program Director at OCTC. And we'd like to share with you the progress we've made towards creating a career pathway for the healthcare facilities profession. But first, at OCTC, we want to remind you, never underestimate you. We understand the challenges of being an adult learner, working, going to school. You know, we're here to help you meet those challenges head on. You know, the career pathway for healthcare facilities is really not that clear. It's kind of like a maze. But here at OCTC, we've been working on these steps to provide a development and advanced pathway for your success. Over the last seven years, we've been involved in seven very specific steps, both professional development and academic, for your career. The first one is Safe Day One. Safe Day One is a comprehensive orientation tool designed for every technician and contractor that works in a healthcare facility. We've recently added a pandemic module for the unique challenges of working healthcare during a pandemic. We like to say, we can't wait to be safe one day. We need to be safe day one. And that brings us to the Healthcare Facilities Orientation, HFO 100 class. This one credit hour class designed for everyone that works in healthcare. It's a complement to Safe Day One. It's not just for maintenance folks. It's also for nurses, technologists, clinicians, environmental services, security, administrators, doctors. What it does is it brings us together to understand the unique challenges of the physical environment. Both the clinical impacts on the patient and the safety of protecting the most vulnerable people in the world. For example, life safety items such as sprinklers, doors, decorations, means of egress, and things like ventilation or infection prevention are in this class. And what a great way with a one credit hour class to dip your toes into online education. That brings us to Healthcare Facilities Technician Certificate. This academic certificate, 18 credit hours, easily completed in two semesters, also combines with experiential credits, eight experiential credits, 10 class credits. Again, lays down a foundation for, for technicians, covers areas such as life safety, med gas, electrical, ventilation, infection prevention, departments and special features, and accreditation. That brings us to the CHFT, which caps off the HFT. Now you don't have to take the HFT to take the CHFT, although we highly recommend it be as successful as possible. You can take it if you're ready now, by logging in and signing up at IHFTA.com. There's also classes available at IHFTA.com to prepare. That brings us to the Healthcare Facilities Foundation HFF Certificate. This is the first credential for leadership. If you're taking lead or supervision or possibly management, what a great way to take a 16 credit hour credential. You don't need English or reading or math placement and work your way towards a management role, which brings us to the Healthcare Facilities Leadership Diploma. The diploma is for managers or directors or maybe even executives who have their advanced degrees such as bachelors and masters. And it's also a great way to get the core competencies of healthcare facilities. And then that brings us to the Healthcare Facilities Leadership Associates in Applied Science. The 60 plus credit degree is especially designed for directors and managers. It also is a great way to transition to a bachelor's degree. We have transfer agreements with certain colleges at OCTC for healthcare administration, personal organizational leadership, and again, not just to earn your bachelor's, but to earn your master's. And then that brings us to this. Folks, we want to create a beautiful pathway for you. We want to create a beautiful pathway for the profession. We want you to share in our successes. We have many successes already. We love to add your success to our story. In fact, we want to help you write your professional story. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, mike.canalis at kctcs.edu. And remember, never underestimate you.